It's the community working together. That's the best part. Oh, I enjoy it. This is a lot of fun. Lots of dancing going on as usual at the at the three different stages that they dance at. Um, there's an able skiver eating contest today that's going to be pretty pretty interesting. Um, I participated in one year and I'm still full. So dancing, which is usually a big draw, is at 1:30. And as always, there's tons of delicious food. Scandinavian dances, pretty outfits, and Viking technology stuff. something to eat and see if I can sell something. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. It's a hobby. It's something I've been doing for 30 years now. And I enjoy it. Shepherd's cane hoop, loop, and this is the handle for a um, stake flipper over. You just stab it and flip your stake over. So right now I'm going to put the hook on that. It's made out of four inch square stock. The handle's already done, and so now I just got to put the hook on the end of that. Get this nice red hot. When it's hot, red hot, I can work it. Twist it, shape it, put a point on it. Yes, ma'am, it does get hot. About 25, 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hot enough that I can actually burn my steel in half. And that's a forge weld, so I can put the two back together again. So right now, I'm gonna taper this out, put it to a point. It's a little wide here still, so I'm gonna work it down a little bit. It takes too long with the file. 
but this is a little faster. Oh, I enjoy it. This is a lot of fun. I get a lot of little boys and girls out here, some older folks, and they just enjoy it. And there it is. It's done. You stab your steak and just flip it right over. That is wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. get it shaped, uh, you bring it over and you put it in the, the vise reversing the shoes and you start with uh, a small spoon and dig a hole in the heel. Once you get that done, you go to a, a larger spoon and then a larger spoon and once you have the heel cleaned out, then you uh, drill a hole towards the toe. And once Again, you start small and, and graduate up to the bigger ones. And then you get to a point where you just have to scoop out to shape the foot. For me, on this size, it's just a little over an hour from the block of wood to a complete shoe. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we are the Junction City Scandinavian Children's Dance Group, and we have five different age groups. and her sisters make everyone by hand. Right here in Junction City. Okay. I can help the next person in line. When you go drink, you gotta be sure to bring the short horn 
because the last guy to finish buys the next round. So, you know, so I take my shorter drink at Horn when I go. So you tell the wife, I'm going to go visit Oli and help him fix the boat. He's got a hole in the bottom of it. And then you take the, the horn and it, it fell off the reindeer about four in the morning when I was coming home and I, you know, fell asleep out there. The wife comes out about six o'clock in the morning and kicks me and brushes the snow off and said, you was helping Oli with the boat last night, weren't you? Oh, no, no, I just, you know, bumped my head when I fell off the reindeer and I, thanks for waking me up. What's for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way to go. So, um, we had an accident and it fell on the pavement and broke. And I just got so disgusted I threw it away. And a young friend of mine who was in the booth, he said, Can I have that? I said, Why do you want that? And he picked it up and went, Is that amazing? That is amazing. It didn't hurt the sound any. I'm going to go through the horns here. This one uh, is the one that your mom's going to use to wake up in the morning. If you don't get out of bed, you can open the bedroom door and go. <laughs> You're going to miss the bus! <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, or whatever. <clears throat> this one sounds like when they blow the fire siren, that, that shrill and piercing. You can feel this because it vibrates through the everything, through the ether. <laughs> Sometimes run out of juice. This is a real thing. This is a cow horn. This was my father's, father's, father's horn. No way. Absolutely. Been in the family that long. But, and they used to take it like sporting events and stuff, you know, until they made that stuff so you couldn't That's because. So, so cool. um, yes, and. Uh, Looks like Boromir's horn. It is. Yeah, it is sort of a Boromir-esque kind of horn, <laughs> and uh, this is what this one sounds like. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, ceramic knows that uh, our dressed in traditional Scandi fair, I have a dragon band playing medieval instruments and say welcome on one side and then Velkomen or Walkomen or I don't know how to say it. That's a tongue twister. It's a tongue twister, yes. <laughs> You can just tell me a little bit. I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> Are you the proprietor? Here? Yes, she is. Okay. She's had it for I don't know how many years. 27, <laughs> 27 years. 27 years. Uh huh. And it's ribeye steak with bell peppers and onions and a special seasoning that she puts together. And it's on a hokey roll. And it's got two kinds of cheeses on it. And you put the meat in it. And you let it all melt on those cheeses. And there you go. Why don't you make me one? Because I have to take one. OK, there you go. Let me take a look. Mm. Yum. Can't wait to bite into that. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. We're really enjoying ourselves. Uh, just looking at all the different arts and crafts and we watch the different kids food dance. Foods. Oh, yeah. The kids that dance. We're gonna go back. And they're gonna teach. Somebody's gonna be teaching dancing. We're gonna go back and watch that. That should be fun. Yeah. Bought a bought a pretty bracelet. Hand, handmade. Abel Skeever. Yeah. Had Abel Skeever, and we may. I, we don't know what lunch is yet. I'm torn. We are featuring traditional Scandinavian hot dogs. This is a Swedish hot dog, which is known as a Hov Special. It has a long Zenner's Frankfurt or 10 and a half inch Coney Island style hot dog with a true casing on it. You can only get it here in Oregon, made with Oregon meats and two scoops of mashed potatoes on top. 
and the other one is a Danish Brusa, and the Brusa <laughs> is a single Xanners wiener on a roll with a remoulade, and they put crispy French onions, capers, and other sundry toppings on them on our condiment table. But everyone gets a full hot dog one way or another and some of the best meats, Oregon made and Oregon grown and true Scandinavian style. People working here have been doing it for years. I've been here 37 years, and I make almost everything here. I make the bowls and arrows and quivers, and marshmallow shooters, and hand puppets and finger puppets, and mug wamps, the large ones, and, and then I supplement with some, some marionettes. So wonderful! I've but, been enjoying them, watching the children play with these puppets. Oh and, yes, uh, I have people that come back every year yeah. to, to buy something. So.
someone such as Jerry Dykstra, who's been here for an eternity, going down to a, 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 the, the costume display. Jerry has been doing this for so long. She is as important part of this event as somebody buying an Abel Skeever or a Swedish meat pie or somebody volunteering, somebody who mows the lawn. Jerry is just as important as anybody else. And that's the kind of fraternity and, and family that we have with this 52 event. 52 years. I've been here for 52 years. I've yeah. never missed a day in 42. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. What's the best part for you, Jerry? It's the community working together. Uh -huh. That's the best part. I mean, the food's always good. We always, I always love the dancing and the music and the food. But actually, when the community gets together and puts on a whole event, and you really get a fellowship feeling of working together, and that's wonderful. You don't get that very many places. Especially in very when many there's events. a police officer behind you making okay. googoo eyes at you. Oh, good to see you, Mike. Okay. We'll see you in a little bit. Well, the best part of the festival is not the food, it's not the crafts, uh -huh. it's not the music, it's not the dancing. All of that has its place. The best part of the festival for me is the smiles. It's the people enjoying themselves, people acting like children again, people walking around, the class reunions, the family reunions. And when we're working here on Saturday, setting up the, the stage behind you with the shade cloth, and Sunday doing the same thing, and Monday setting up the electrical, the water, the sewer lines, the infrastructure and everything that goes with. Monday night we close down the streets. Monday evening, excuse me, after that, the booths start moving in. Everybody knows you by name. They see you on the forklift. They see you on a bicycle. They see you running around like a chicken with your head cut off. But they know you. They understand what you're going through because they've gone through it themselves. But the appreciation that the people have and the coming together that people have. And then to be here on Tuesday doing more stuff and me doing the public relations, going around and speaking with the business, making sure that all the fires are put out, making sure that people are placated, working toward the, the rising tide lifting all ships and and putting the best foot possible forward for the city of Junction City, to me, that's the best part. Being on stage, being in front of a microphone, I, I thrive on that, I love it. But to just smell everything and see people eating a fry joe and waiting all year for this. We recently put out a fundraiser calendar, Scandinavian Festival calendar, with all sorts of pictures in it. It doesn't start with January, it starts with August. That's what this event is to us. This is better than Christmas. This is better than a birthday. This is part of our DNA. And it just runs really, really deep with all of us. Thank you so much for your time. You're I'm welcome. So My uncle runs this. Yeah, yeah family business. What can I get you? Yeah. Have a nice day.
for performing their transportation number of the film. Ladies and gentlemen, Vognets with the Hopak. <laughs>